Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to classify images of cheetahs and hyenas with this very small data set. Apparently not many people have done it because it's a little difficult as I discovered. Okay, 0 and 1 on this index. We're only going to use the train folder. Okay, data augmentation, horizontal flip equals true, validation split 35%. Remember, you're going to fit the one directory then target size 384 by 384, bat size 4, binary, subset training, and then same except for subset validation for the other one. Now we can see there's a more fair split of images because the other one was 200 images. And then 200 and then 18 is a little uneven. Okay, so uh, here's what I'm talking about. Dense 1 for binary. Which I always do, and then uh, normally if it's multi-categorical, I use how many ever classes, dense whatever. And then I always start at 128 and work my way down, how many ever give or take. But in this case, I discovered I needed to go with un unusual shape and kernel size. Same with this. Why? This is the only one that got all four predictions correct. The other one had good validation loss. Good validation accuracy, but it only got two right. Okay. So input shape, 384, 384, obviously, 3. And then remember, sigmoid works the best for binary. Softmax for multi-categorical. Optimizer atom, binary cross entropy, you have to do it for binary. Fit, 10 e Okay, as you can see, the validation loss, but here's what I'm talking about. Let me just show you ahead of time. 100% chance cheetah, 89% chance hyena, 94% chance hyena, and 100% chance cheetah. It's pretty confident with cheetahs, huh? Okay. And now let's get, if you guys haven't seen my other videos, remember your image size and input shape and target shape all have to be 384. Read the image, reshape the arrays. Predict, prepare, and then this is how you compute the score. And then remember, cheetah, hyena, cheetah, hyena. That's the order. And then show the image. Okay, guys. That's all. And remember, normally my other formulas work for convolutional neural networks, but in this case, this had to be done. Yeah, it was unusual. It took a little, a lot of trial and error, but as a machine learning engineer, data scientist, whether it's production or just doing this, you have to find a way. Because as you can see, this data set's been a while. It got updated two months ago, but no one, only three people did it. Probably because of the unusual data set. It's like when I did Dogs and Wolves. See my other video. Remember how um, they look pretty similar? Well, to convolutions and filters, it's hard to teach it the difference. But we did it, and you can do it too. Okay, guys, uh, be sure to hit like and subscribe. I'm going to be taking a break from all this. That's why I've been making a lot of videos and prepared. But when, we, when I come back from my break, we're going to do SageMaker again. I've kind of neglected that and been doing too much streamlit. Thank you, guys.